Good morning, everybody. It's me, Tracy. I'm going to attempt to sublimate my sublimation soda can with my Cricut press. But first, I'm going to create a template for the size that I need because I don't have the correct size and it makes it harder to do anything when you don't have the correct size. So I'm going to create a template with a piece of typing paper. And then after I do that, I'm going to measure it, the paper. Because you don't want, you want everything to be even. So you don't have to, you know, know the size of your cup or your, because you can't press, you can't press in this part. So I like to say good morning. To all my new subscribers, my new people for my new Facebook channel. Y'all doing real good. I'm loving all y'all divas. Y'all still loving them divas. And um, so make sure you sign up for my crafting group, Crafting Together as One. And show us y'all beautiful work. So now that I have my template, it goes all the way around, it overlaps a little bit. You don't want it to overlap too much. Let me make it a little smaller. So I've seen people do videos. I've been watching them. So I want to try it myself. Why not? Why not? So my measurements is going to be nine and a half by a little less than five. So let me print my picture up. So I have my picture printed. I did not practice this first. I do not have silicone to smash in there or something to hold it in place i'm basically going to use this as a sort of like an oven type of thing so i don't know if it's going to work but i'm going to use dmx picture get it all cut out and prepped and then i'm going to tape it to my cup and see what happens so it's like a let me see let me see and I'm not going to um, time it. I'm going to let it do the whole five minutes on each side, on each one. Because I'm not sure if it's even, even going to work. But I'm going to keep my fingers crossed. There's always a way. You never know. I already got that print, pictures printed. My cup, my measurements was nine by something. It's a little off. See, my measurement is a little off, so I'm gonna fold it and take some of the take some of this off. I don't know why, because of the indents in the soda can, it makes it harder. But that's okay. As long as I still got some of him on him, on here, DMX. May his soul rest in peace. All right. So, we got a picture. We got some of the legs missing, but it's okay. It's for it's for the video purpose. Take that on there. Nicely. And we're gonna see what happens. The only thing we can do is see what happens. Get one of these, get one of these. It makes it <laughs> easier. I was pulling tape off before and sticking it to my table. And then when I went to go get it, it was, um, it didn't really work properly. It was sticking to the table and come off. 
So I got my tape. And then I'm ready to put it in here. It's already hot and it's already ready to go. And we're going to see what happens, everybody. I'll put that down there and I'm actually putting it in the middle. So it's not touching any of the sides. It's basically just in the middle. So because the, the cup is too small, I'm going to see if I can create like an oven type. So it'd be like a like an oven and not so much, you know, when they say you got to compress it. We're going to see if I can do this without compressing it or without smashing something in it. Because even if I smash something in it, it's still too, it's still too small for this soda can. Well, it's getting hot, even though it's not, it's not physically pressing against the cup. It's getting hot. I'm going to use my timer because the, because it's not pressing against the can, the numbers are not moving on top. It's not going to move because it's not pressing against anything. So what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to give it a good five minutes or two minutes, two to three minutes. I'm going to do the countdown for this clock. I'm going to give it about three minutes and I'll be back. So I'm gonna leave that in for another two minutes. And mind you, I don't have nothing, I don't have nothing jamming it inside. It's just sitting there, there's space all the way around. I'm basically trying to create like a conventional oven type of thing where you just basically sit it in there and it's gonna work. So I'm gonna give that a little bit of time, almost two minutes. So, Craft Together as One is the group. It's growing very fast. Everybody say they love it. They can post their links. They can post their pictures, any picture they want to their business and everything. Get it out there, sell your stuff. My thing is about, you know, everybody, Get out here, use some of these DIYs, make a little extra money. You know, COVID done smashed the place up, so so we're gonna make some money. That's all this this group is about. That's all I'm about. I'm not gonna say you can't post nothing. It's not only about me. It's about all of us. So. the numbers is not moving the cup press is still working so I'm gonna turn it around to the other side so that it will heat up on the other side as well so just be mindful I haven't done this already I've seen a lot of people posting videos on how to do theirs and and they need to smash it or put something inside to, to create that vacuum seal and and you don't. I don't believe you don't have to do all that. So I did this front side. I did the back side. Two minutes, two minutes. And you can see some smoke coming out here. So it is very hot. So we don't know. Don't know the temperature of how hot it's getting. Because smoke coming out. That means it's getting hot. 
So we'll see if it's actually gonna work. If it work, then you can just, if your can fit in there, or if your can too small, you can still use it as a, as like an oven that's gonna cook it from the inside. You just have to turn it, turn it and make sure I got the fan on. So it's not, it's, it's smoking a little bit, but I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit and we're gonna see what happens. And no, I didn't take the whole thing or none of that kind of stuff. So we're gonna see if this is a thumbs up or a thumbs down when it comes to putting the can, the sublimation cans inside without creating a pressure point, whereas though it's smashing up actually against the the foam inside. Cause normally it's supposed to smash up against it and it's supposed to create a, a tight seal to be able to, to cook this thing and make it work. But I didn't do that. I didn't do that. Let me take it out and see what it's doing here. Uh-uh, what is that? Slimy stuff on my cup. What is this? And I know I didn't put nothing slimy in here. Let's see this. I don't know what that is, but it's slimy. And I don't remember adding nothing slimy to my cup. So, I don't know. I'm going to leave that alone. That look nasty. Whatever this is. Some type of rubber substance. I tell my grandkids don't play with my stuff. So let's take this tape off, and it's gonna let's just take the tape off and see what it's gonna do or what it did. So just know it's my first time trying this. I see other people trying it. Other people creating creating pressure points smashing stuff inside of it oh they said you got to smash something to create it to make it but i'm using it as an oven sort of like a conventional oven look y'all this picture is coming out bright and clear even though i didn't jam nothing inside all i did was sit it in there look how this is looking Oh, nice. So now y'all know, you can just stick your cup inside, leave it in there two, three minutes, whatever you think is best. One minute, two minutes, three minutes. You know, it could be left longer. I think it turned out great. What y'all think? I could have left it in there a little bit longer. I didn't jam nothing in it. I basically just put the picture on it and put it in there as a as a conventional oven. Uh, the spot on the top where it's light at right here, I think that's the way the picture background look. I'm not sure. But for the most part. Just putting that cup inside, basically just putting it inside and leaving it. It worked out pretty good. Maybe I could have left it longer on this side. So three minutes, not enough. So I say maybe four minutes, three to four minutes and flipping it over and turning it upside down. But for the most part, it did pretty good just as a, as an oven. Just using it as an oven and sticking it in it, it did pretty well. So, it has a little bit of light spots right here. And that's because I probably didn't leave it in long enough. So, I did two minutes. I will be trying it again a little bit longer. So, I think it did pretty good. I didn't smash nothing in there, I didn't jam nothing in there. I just set it in, set it in there like another. Just set it in there, it's an oven. 
Didn't even have to, didn't have to do anything, but sit it in there like an oven. That's it, sit it in like an oven, turn it to the other side, flip it upside down, and then turn it again like an oven. So, this little cricket machine, I'm loving this little cricket machine because this little cricket cup machine is an amazing little machine. It's cute. <laughs> so if you're just a starter and you want to do some mugs and some cups, get this. Or even get that big one. It all depends. I don't do a whole lot of cups, but I do buy them. But I think it did pretty good. It could set in a little longer. I think I'm going to try it again on a different cup and see what happens. Thanks for watching this video.